Guten Abend, liebe Zuschauer hier auf Klagemauer TV. Good evening, dear viewers on Klagemauer TV. Right before the beginning of the NATO summit in Wales, yesterday the US President Barack Obama and UK's Prime Minister David Cameroon adopted a clearly sharper tone towards Russia. In a corporate article in the London Daily newspaper Times, they charged the NATO to keep ready armed forces to be available on ground, the air and sea, worldwide and rapidly. Furthermore, the NATO states should commit 2% of the gross domestic product for military expenses. As an explanation, Obama and Cameroon have two arguments. First, according to their definition, the illegal and arbitrary annexation of the Crimea. And second, the presence of Russian troops on Ukrainian ground. As for the lie about Russian troops on Ukrainian ground, we recommend our media commentary of September 3rd and 2014. Today, we would like to quote the renowned publicist Paul Craig Roberts in the following broadcast. Again and again, there are upset citizens contacting us who are not willing to accept the argumentation Russia annexed the Crimea, especially not as a justification for a war or military build-up. Amongst the raised complaints was an open protest letter of the Austria Initiative Homeland and Environment, stating the following. Already in Article 1 of the UN Charter, the right of self-determination of peoples, note well, peoples, not countries, is anchored unambiguously. Section 2 of this chapter, about purposes and principles, says, the purposes of the United Nations are to develop friendly relations among nations based on respect for the principle of equal rights and self-determinations of peoples, and to take other appropriate measures to strengthen universal peace. In accordance to international right, the peoples of the peninsula Crimea and in the eastern Ukraine held an independent ballot. With vast majority, the people voted for an affiliation to Russia in case of the Crimea and in eastern Ukraine for a proclamation of an own state that is independent from the present Putsch government in the Ukraine. There are comparable examples for this. On September 18th in 2014, Scotland will vote on their independence on England. Catalonia will vote on their independence on Spain on November 9th in 2014. The parliament of the former Serbian province Kosovo proclaimed independence in the year 2008. This was accepted, legal and legitimized by the West. Nevertheless, the right for self-determination of East Ukrainian citizens is being criminalized by the West and answered with bombs and grenades on civilians and residential areas along with an ever-increasing military presence of NATO troops around about this crisis area. So it is well understandable that the displeasure of many citizens against this politics based on lies and war, especially by the USA and NATO, is increasing day by day. Because the basis of this universal peace can only be justice for all and the end of double standards. Show your protest as well in street demonstrations and enlighten the public about this coherences. Or you may raise a complaint on Klagemau TV and connect with us independent from the internet. We now switch over to Studio Dresden with a statement of Paul Craig Roberts about the alleged invasion of Russian troops in the Ukraine. Thank you, Studio Nuremberg. Paul Craig Roberts used to be the Deputy Finance Minister in the Ronald Reagan US Government and Co-Redirector of the commentary page of the Wall Street Journal. The claim that 1,000 Russian soldiers have marched into Ukraine he literally called the height of absurdity. All of this nonsense is a build-up to the upcoming NATO conference in Wales. In his opinion, quote, disinformation is being used to create hysteria and justification for a NATO military build-up on Russia's border that could easily result in the final war. He prompts all journalists and the public, ask yourself this question. 
is the entirety of the Western media so ignorant and incompetent not to realize that a Russian invasion of Ukraine would not consist of 1,000 troops, the evidence of which no one can find, or is the entirety of the Western media simply willingly serving as a propaganda ministry for Washington's warmongers, as the Western media did for George W. Bush's invasion of Iraq, based on fabricated evidence of Iraqi weapons of mass destruction? More and more citizens see through this propaganda. You can also participate by viewing and spreading counter voices to expose the media's lies and the warmongering in all countries. We count on you. Good evening.